what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're talking about a few different things in this video today we'll be talking about scream 6 we'll be talking about beetlejuice 2 we'll be talking about drag me to hell 2 and then we'll round it out by talking about an update that possibly could be coming on the leprechaun series being revived so scream 6 is currently on track to do 50 million worldwide during its opening weekend now this is from deadline that broke the report earlier this week and just to clarify again this is world worldwide not just domestic deadline did recently put out a new recent report as i'm recording this that this movie is clocking in at about 42 million domestically so that is definitely breaking the record and setting a new record for what scream 3 did 23 years ago at this point uh this is very impressive to see because again it's breaking scream 3's record which was held for over 20 years so those of you who have seen the film let me know what you thought about it down below and i'll have my spoiler review posted this sunday night at around midnight on so i guess monday morning i don't think this high box office would lessen the chances of Nev returning for anyone curious because I know some people think if Six did well then Sydney would be gone for good but that's just not how this works the door is always open to use that character once again I do want to add this I think that there are a lot of people who are hearing my praises for the film and thinking that I don't have any gripes with it as if I didn't mention my gripes in my spoiler free review keep this in mind I do think that what Scream 6 has done is it further proved what I was expecting. It's exposing that, yes, we indeed are living in a time where we like to complain, not complain, I'll say critique. We like to critique the similarities that are being done more than praise the nuanced differences. This movie is not a carbon copy of what you have seen in the past. If anything, admittedly, Scream has always managed to rehash finding fresh tweaks to keep it fresh or with some creative tweaks to keep it fresh and that's all that scream six has done that's my honest opinion on it i'm gonna have my spoiler review up i'll go into a little bit more of my gripes with the movie but right now just for anyone curious i am giving it an eight out of ten so going into beetlejuice 2 beetlejuice 2 is reportedly ready to go finally according to scooper jeff snyder or sneeder who also had a scoop on the poltergeist revival i recently did a video on now tim burton is reportedly set to return to direct Catherine o'hara will be back we know no rider will be back and michael keaton are all reportedly back on board according to these sources now the hollywood reporter has also reported sources are telling them that tim burton will of course actually be back to direct like i mentioned and michael keaton is expected back with production i'm late may or early june to shoot in london but the budget has not been set resulting in a back and forth now here's the thing if a deal is also made about this you can expect jenna ortega to play the daughter of lydia in beetlejuice 2 now we know this is the character we know the writer played in the original so jenna ortega was the biggest bit of all of this to me because she definitely is booked and busy she's staying just busy and booked playing lydia's daughter could be great to see i love beetlejuice so i'm excited to see where this goes after seeing what she was able to do with the character of wednesday i do think that she could actually be able to do something great and spectacular as a character that is connected to the character of lydia which in this case of course the report is saying she would be playing her daughter i think that that could actually have great chemistry her and we know a writer that would be absolutely great to see now for anyone thinking this could halt her involvement in a potential scream 7 i do not think this could i think at best scream 7 will shoot later this fall or in the winter and you'll still get it released next year that's my that's my prediction but just to jump into the next topic at hand we need to talk about drag me to hell 2 drag me to hell i will say this it's not necessarily one of my absolute favorite horror movies but i remember when it came out in 2009 it is a movie that we love re-watching so much and talking about it in school but once i went into high school drag me to hell was not something i was constantly turning on only because it just wasn't one of those movies that stuck around with me through the rest of my childhood. It just wasn't one of those movies. There's several movies that I've watched that just didn't stick with me as I got older. I know what the hell they are. I just don't watch them as frequently. But Drag Me to Hell 2 might actually be coming in the near future. Now, I recall Sam Raimi actually admitting to not having a story for a sequel, which is why it never happened. Uh, however, according to a new report from Bloody Disgusting, it seems the door isn't closed on Drag Me to Hell completely just yet. During a Reddit Ask Me Anything chat this week, Sam Raimi suggested that his team is trying to crack a possible sequel story. He said that this on Reddit. Now, team at Ghost House Pictures, Romel, Adam, and Jose Canas are trying to come up with a story that would work, and I'm anxious to hear if they do. Now, here's my questions. One, 
what the hell is going to happen? Is Christine going to be returning from hell? Did her curse pass on to Justin Long's character? Is Justin Long's character even going to be involved if it happens? We'll have to wait and see. Raimi, I would say, was correct in his sentiments a few years back when he said the ending was definitive because I can't see where this sequel goes. I can't I just can't see it. I can't see what they would do with this unless it has to do with somebody else being cursed and them getting dragged to hell. <laughs> really, that's the only thing I can see. But you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. Are you a fan of Drag Me to Hell? Why or why not? Mostly for me, as somebody who you guys know is a Jeepers Creepers fan, I turned on Drag Me to Hell for Justin Long. And that's actually why I kept rewatching it because it was just another W in his horror catalog. Every horror movie this man is in, he is excelling at what he is being given to work with. He is just a tremendous actor when it comes to the horror genre. And I was just really curious to see what Justin Long was doing while I was still waiting for at the time, like many of you probably were waiting for Jeepers Creepers 3, which probably just could have kept that in the uh in the freezer there but drag me to hell too what do you guys think about the potential chances of this happening let me know down in the comment section below we're gonna round this out by talking about leprechaun now leprechaun may have an announcement on the way and i'm excited about the possibilities nothing is confirmed but here's what's here's what i'm thinking this is just speculation the official instagram account it's been dead it's been dead since 2019 but randomly it made a post saying that leprechaun was coming for his pot of gold now what's exciting about this i believe there's a movie marathon happening soon for saint patty's day and we do know that lionsgate has been taking pictures for a new movie or was reported to be anyway now have they landed on something that will finally see warwick return in his iconic role i'm starting to think that they just might have because the fact that this account was dead meaning no post since 2019 and now all of a sudden you have a random post once again about the leprechaun coming for a spot of gold. And we had a report last year that Lionsgate was accepting pitches or looking at pitches for a new leprechaun movie. It's like, come on now, St. Patty's Day is right around the corner. It could, it can be nothing. It could be them just wanting to post for St. Patty's Day. But I would hope that this is them about to announce a revival of the IP. I hope we're about to find out that Warwick Davis will be back as the role of leprechaun and we'll get another movie with him back in the role for the first time ever since what 2003 when back to the hood dropped which was a straight to video movie so this would be returning to theaters i would hope i think that's what lionsgate was wanting to do anyway but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course you can go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification that you can never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video